How I go fishing is I take my rod with me snorkeling so I can see exactly where the fish are. While snorkeling around, I'll come up to a fish that I don't want to catch, like this carp. So instead, I'll play with it. Well, actually, tease it. This is a school of smallmouth bass. These are the kind of fish I like to catch. I'm trying a new lure I bought from the dollar store. The last one didn't work well. But it also depends on the fish. Some will ignore, some will be interested but cautious. And then there will be one. I'm hungry, I want it now. Of course, the one you hope will be hungry is this one, the big one. With that success, I thought great this cheap lure works, so I try to catch another one. The thing about being able to see the fish is the mystery is gone. You can really see how they're acting and what they are thinking. I think they are onto me now. They have a small brain, but it works. I try moving the lure around to get their interest. Some are just interested in me. This is what I like about catching smallmouth bass. They don't swim off as soon as they see you. Well, this isn't working. I'll try somewhere else. Some fish will think, that looks real. I'll just take a small taste. Not enough to hook them though. I really didn't want to catch this one. I didn't want to have to touch it to take it off my hook. So I went back to the original school to see if they had forgotten me and what happened. Apparently they hadn't. I have two options now, change to another lure or snag a goby to use as live bait. While swimming to a rocky area to snag a goby, I caught another one. When a fish is caught, the other fish think he is chasing food, so they go to him and follow him until they realize he is fighting for his life. I just need to wait for him to get tired now. All tuckered out, I release him.
Thinking that there was a renewed interest in my lure, I try for another one. You can't really know what they're thinking. Are they going to bite it or not? Forget this, I'm going to get a goby. Now that I have a goby on, which is live bait, they're much more interested because they know this is real. I found a perch interested in the goby. Perch are better tasting than smallmouth bass. Clearly I wasn't going to catch this one. They're a beautiful fish. This goby is looking a little used up and lifeless. They're not really interested in something half dead. I'm going to have to get a fresh one. I'll change the lure as well. This is how I snag a goby. Now I have a fresh lively goby on. Hopefully it will get the fish's attention. Another fresh goby. I lost the other one when I caught the last fish. They work better when they're fresh anyways.
Fish number four. Last one of the day. Bye-bye, fish. This has been one of the best fishing snorkeling outings I've had in a long time.